This lighting is very dramatic. Also, there's that shadow. I, I gotta figure out a new, new thing for my camera, but whatever. We'll figure it out. So I just want to start this video by saying thank you to uh, all the people who gave me gifts this holiday season. It means a lot to me. I got all sorts of stuff. I got some Magic the Gathering stuff. I got some uh, Weeb stuff. The camera that I'm actually shooting this on is a camera that my stream got me. I actually opened up the gift on my stream, so uh, I'll show you guys a clip of that. But yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't planning on streaming today, but I got something in the mail that I think some of you guys might be excited about. So basically, Jess has told me uh, for a long time that there's this gift that was coming and I got instructions from it that I needed to open this on a live stream. So I'm doing, I'm following the instructions and uh, I'm going to open up this box here and uh, we're going to, we're going to see what's inside. It's a bomb. Well, if I die today, then uh, let me see. This can serve as my will. I'm giving my magic cards to Jimmy Wong. I'd like to donate my weeb shit to Albert and Lily. For the rest of my, uh, for my money and stuff, he can distribute it to my sister. That's my will, okay. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this, guys, okay? I'm opening it. It's, this thing is pretty heavy, it could be a bomb. Ready? I'm gonna slip this off in like, two seconds. Three, two, one. Uh, I got a fucking camera, guys. A PowerShot G7X Mark II. Okay, I need I need to read I need to read the uh, read the card though. Merry Christmas to Josh. Surprise! Merry Christmas from the one and only 10 IQ crew. This has been in the works for a while, so we hope you enjoy. Everyone in your stream family wants to support you to the ends of the earth. Therefore, when the idea to get this for you came to fruition, people easily jumped on it to support you. We hope you can use this new camera to finally make content for your channel for once. <laughs> Thank you for bringing us together. Love your 10IQ crew. Uh, to the donators, Gamu, Yume, Techno Dude, a Techno Dude, Super Marth, Tiny Pickle, Kuzuru Ray, Jimmy, Razy, High, Tone Deaf Bass, Yellow Sub, Kiddo Eon, Magic Spell, Lobo Kendo, and Slothy. <laughs> God. You know, I gotta come clean, guys. So what's funny to me is that um, when I got the present, I had actually opened it, but then I realized this was in the box, and I was like, fuck, I fucked everything up. But I figured that was actually the most 10 IQ crew thing I could possibly do. Like, this is actually just so fucking touching, honestly. <laughs> it was gonna be a joke, but then I actually got the feels, so I don't know what to do about that. Um... Anyways, before this year gets any further along, I wanted to do a sort of uh, wrap up of what happened in 2017 and sort of, you know, what to do in 2018 because, you know, it's it's that time of year where we start making goals that we know we will never achieve, but we do them anyways. To be honest, 2017 was kind of a crazy year for me. Uh, a lot of bad things happened early on, but, you know, over time things kind of turned around. So, for example, uh, in the beginning of 2017, I had just broken up with my girlfriend, Boo, and then I also um, found out that All Chat was dying, so also Boo, because uh, with All Chat dying, I didn't know what I was going to do this year. Um, basically, All Chat was like 75-80% of my yearly income, and without that, I didn't even know I would, if I was going to be able to stay afloat in LA. Um, there was a chance that I thought about maybe I should go back to school, or I should try to go get an engineering job, or something like that. and. Um, it was it was a it was a tough time. Uh, on top of that, my parents' uh, marriage kind of uh, dissolved at that point. Later on in the year, they would go and be completely divorced. I think it's one of those things like divorce is obviously not a happy time, but at the same time, if everyone is better for it, then uh, you know it's it's not that sad. Also, divorce is one of those things that I think is far more traumatic when you're younger. You know, when your parents break up when you're a kid, you're like, oh god, there's a custody battle, you, like your whole life changes. But at this point, I'm like a fully functioning adult. Well, almost fully functioning adult. And so I feel like it's not as impactful, you know, I'm not, I'm not traumatized by it. I don't think my parents are, my sister's fine. So it's one of those things like, yeah, it'll take some adjusting, but I think everyone is happier for it. So that's good. 
But yeah, obviously 2017 was not all bad. Um, after All Chat had died, uh, luckily Riot uh, kept me on as a contractor and as a producer, and so I got to work on other things while I was a contractor. And obviously later on in the year, I got hired full-time, which I'm super happy about, and uh, I'm excited to see what I do at Riot as a full-time member. Also this year, I got to work on a number of different side projects with my excess time, and you know, so I was able to do some music stuff with Albert and Lily. I was also able to put out, you know, my own music cover of the Jin's theme, if you guys have seen that. Among all the other, like, random covers that I, I put onto my Instagram and all that, so it was awesome that I was able to finally do some music stuff. I got to be part of other big projects like Grey's League Talk Show, which I was really happy to be a part of, and obviously Offline TV, which, uh, you know, is still doing really well. I'm super happy with how it's been turning out. It was one of those things that, you know, early on we were like, oh, I don't know what's like a reasonable goal to hit by the end of the year. We are thinking like, may, uh, we'd be pretty happy with 100K, and the fact that we're at like 200K, like way past 200K at this point, we're super happy with the way it's going. So uh, hopefully 2018 is a big year for Offline TV. Uh, yeah, and I've been streaming and that's actually been so much more fun than I could have imagined because of the awesome Community that we've created through the stream like our discord channel is super active and I have a lot of fun doing it And I'm just super thankful for that community honestly So all in all I'd say I had a pretty interesting 2017 a lot of high highs But a lot of low lows as well, but here we are it's 2018 which means it's time for some Resolution. Okay, so I just want to put on record that one, I think New Year's resolutions are kind of a sham. Like, you don't have to make new goals just because it's the new year. You are your own person and you can take charge of your own destiny. But I'm here and I'm going to make this video about some of the goals that I've already had before the New Year's, so it's not a resolution. Don't call it that. I don't want to see the top comment being like, oh, this is a resolution. It's not. So don't call it that. These are just some goals that I've been having and I wanted to share them with you at a time that is around where people would make New Year's resolutions, all right? Number one, this one's obvious, but the big thing I want to accomplish this year in 2018 is that I actually want to create more content for this channel and for my Twitch channel. And because goals need to be specific if you actually want to carry them out, I think that I want to push at least 40 videos out this year on this channel and I want to stream at least 15 days a month. Now, I don't know if I'll hit those goals, but that's what I'm striving for. I've been wanting to make content for myself since forever, but you know, as a producer, I'm constantly making other people's projects happen. And it was one of those things that I was talking to an editor that I worked with uh, at Riot, and we were kind of talking about personal projects. And something that kind of stuck with me was the something he said where, you know, sometimes you gotta live your own dream. And I feel like I've been so busy building content for other people and for other projects that like I never really got to do it for myself and this is a challenge for me because I want to see what I can do with my own content and it's super scary. I don't know if my, any of my content is ever going to be good, but it's one of those things that I just want to try. I also don't even have that much time to build my own content. You know, I've got my full-time job at Riot, I'm doing offline TV, and I've got all these other random projects that I'm doing, so it's actually really difficult for me to find the time to make my own content, but that said, I want to be able to be good about my um, time management so that I'm actually able to fulfill my goals. Number two, so if you guys have been following me on Instagram or Twitter, you guys will occasionally see me uh, talk about like my fitness goals and whatnot. I've been kind of working out consistently for the last couple of months, I'd say at this point, at the last half year, and uh, I've lost a lot of weight, I've gotten uh, into much better shape, but now it's phase two of that plan, and I'm trying to get T-H-I-C-C, -C, thick. And yeah, so I'm just trying to gain some weight, gain some muscle, and see where I get to. Uh, I'm gonna obviously lose some of that weight over time as well, but uh, I wanted to see if you know I can get a little, a little better in shape. It's one of those things that I've been saying to myself, like, hey, just one time in your life, I want to be like fit, you know, like not just like, oh, he looks like he could run a mile, but like, damn, that dude is. Fit. Like I want to I want to be like that fit so I'm working towards that and we'll see how far I get I'm trying to gain about 15 pounds in the next like um, Two to three months. Hopefully I won't get a little too chubby. The problem is when I 
gain any sort of weight, it goes straight to my face. So hopefully the 10, 15 pounds I gain won't be straight to my head. Number three, so the next goal that I have for myself is uh, on the topic of video games. And so the last couple of years, I haven't really been competing necessarily, you know, uh, one of the things was with League, I would try to get to Diamond. I didn't even do that this last season. I didn't do that this season before. And this year, I actually want to try to push myself to see if I can reach Diamond again and see how far in Diamond I can get. I don't know if I'll ever get to Masters, but it's one of those things that I just want to see how far I can push myself. And, you know, League is one of those games that's just highly competitive, and uh, I just want to push myself to be more competitive and to see how far I can take my skills. On a similar note, I also play Super Smash Bros. Melee competitively, and for that, I want to start going out to tournaments more. I just want to see if I can maybe beat a PR player once. That's all I'm saying, just once in tournament. Uh, that's a huge goal for any of you guys who know what um, what PR players are like. They're fucking scary, especially in SoCal. Like, these guys are monsters, uh, and so, I want to see if I can actually make it to, to beat a PR player. I don't even want to be PR myself. Uh, that seems like a lot of pressure. Uh, but if I can beat one, I think that would validate that I'm actually someone who can push myself to a competitive level. Last but not least, I want to watch more anime. Anyways, that's sort of what I was thinking for my goals for 2018. Let me know what goals you guys have for 2018 and put that in the comments. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Again, big shout out to the people who got me this camera. Let me read out their names uh, on the video. So, to the donators, uh, Gamu, Yume, Techno Dude, Supermart, Tiny Pickle, Kuzuru Ray, Jimmy. I found out this is Jimmy Wong, by the way. Thank you, bro. Uh, Razy, Hi, Tone Death Bass. Yellow Sub, Kiddo Eon, Magic Spell, Lobokendo, and Slothy. You guys all pitched in for this camera, and I just want to thank you guys again for getting me this. Uh, I've been needing a new camera for a while now, and I was thinking I would pay for it myself, but uh, you guys got me the best Christmas gift I could ever ask for. So thank you guys so much, and I will continue to use it for uh, the upcoming videos. Peace out, guys. How do I turn this thing off?